You need to calm down. Uh, don't, I got but we're just gonna go ahead and set it. No, no, easy, okay, okay, easy. I, I, sure. I like that it's always it always backs off. So we're, we're gonna, All right, no, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no I was trying. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was just checking. So, so just the Skype update, okay? (laughs) Just we're just gonna do that. Do you have a Hotmail account? (laughs) No one does except for Bruce. I'm the only person. We'll just do the Skype update. (laughs) Set the Bing as the default browser. What? 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 No, 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 no. (laughs) It's like you know, it's like it's like buying a car. Yeah, oh yeah. When you go and buy a car, that's what they do. They throw in the trim package. I didn't say that. (laughs) Okay, we'll take that right out. But it's gonna be two hundred fifty dollars to take that out. (laughs) What? It's already in. You wanted the moonroof. We just thought you wanted it. I didn't say that. Oh man. Hey, what's going on? Let me let me hit this. Just press that button. Boom. Boom. Wow, magic. There we are. Look at that. Live streaming magic. Uh, uh. Everything's recording this week. Everything's going, yeah. Oh, we didn't sync. But we can. We We can can do that that right now. That's ready. Uh, Yeah. Hold on, his his controller's not on yet. It will be shortly. (laughs) Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) There she goes. All right, you ready? Yes. One, two. Mm. On sentence. (laughs) Bye, Bruce. Uh, Yep, that's it. Bye, Bruce. (laughs) Good podcast. Oh, yeah, that fucker's out of of, uh, focus. Whoo. Thank you, Bruce. And the same thing with the Logitech stuff, you're like, Hey, I want you to stay like this forever. Change it tomorrow. Gotcha. No, 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 no. no. I, I even did it as an administrator. I own you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, nah. Nah, we're good. Nah. I do what I want. <laughs> trying I'm so hard to make sure this week doesn't have a raft of technical problems. Ha. Huh. Hey, we'll see. Uh-huh. Turns uh-huh. out it doesn't even fucking matter because YouTube is, is eating a dick. You gotta deal with the eclipse. <laughs> yup. That's uh, the eclipse. That's what it is. That's, that's the why. Problem. That's yeah. why I felt all weird. My text going white. wonky. <laughs> uh, welcome to a uh, welcome to a age gated bullet dude soup. Yeah. Y'all motherfuckers really didn't like us being negative on Sonic, huh? Yeah, what did you guys say last? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't watch dude soup. <laughs> like, what did you guys say? A lot of controversy. Yeah, I went to go watch it. I couldn't because we, I'm not over 18. Yeah, what did we? Did we say anything no. bad? I mean, I according like to the didn't. comments, first we of all, you guys on shit Sonic. on Sonic. Yeah, which well, is yeah, obviously. Idea. We do that every week. That's a thumbs down from <laughs> me. Sonic Defense uh-huh. Forces out in droves. <laughs> Sonic is Sonic is great. Yeah. Um, and then I guess you said some horrific stuff. So much that, it, what, did you guys whip your dicks out or nope, no show dick. pornography? No, none. Nope. Just um, wait, hold on. Was hard netting bad? I, what was hard netting? Hard, hard netting was Lizard Force. It was, it was oh, clean. Oh yeah, it was cool. Lizard Force was awesome. Yeah, Lizard Force well, was it's age-gated. Oh, yeah. So it's, yeah, so Sonic. James, James yeah. didn't watch it. If, you are, uh, if you're under 21, do not look at this, this podcast because it will burn your eyes out. Much like an eclipse. Mm-hmm. What is um, this cool thing that we're watching? We are playing slash watching Agents of Mayhem. Wow. The new uh, Saints Row offshoot. It's oh. Crackdown esque. Oh, okay. It's weird that they don't call it Saints Row at all. Well, uh, maybe the they're trying to, is, eh. yeah, trying to trying to branch I think out the brand a little bit. Is done. We start over. Just make Saints Row, but you don't call it Saints Row. We oh. got enough. Um, this it didn't we, make any sense. <laughs> we have a lot of exciting things to talk about on this podcast. I'm your host, Lawrence Sontag. I'm joined by three fine gentlemen. Uh, Sonic Sonic fan number one, James Thank Williams. You. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> can't say Sonic, that. we're gonna get HK shit. <laughs> Not if it's in a positive way, which I will bring the positivity to it. Thank a you, Lawrence. fan number one, Adam Kovic. Yeah, hey, what's up? And, uh, just some guy, Bruce Green. Hey, whoa, I'm Knuckles fan number five or something. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you're, you're, you're in the ranking Come somewhere. On. Yeah, you pick between line. Knuckles or Shadow. Who Knuckles every time! That's Knuckles smart. is a bad boy. He, well, Shadow is a bad boy too, but he'd like leave you high and dry, whereas Knuckles would be there for He's you if you needed him. He's loyal. But he'd like soaps? insult you. Who? You know those shoes you can grind with? Hold up. Yes. Well, let's hang out later and we can talk. No. Oh. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by nope. two sponsors, Blue Apron and Movement Watch. Uh, you can get this. You can check out this week's menu, get your first three meals for free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash soup and get 15% off of your Watch order for a movement with free shipping and free returns by going to movement.com slash dude soup. But more on that later. First up, we're not making any money. <laughs> Despite plugging yeah. ads. Uh, no, there's a, there's a whole, whole new, this is like Adpocalypse round two. Mm. It's punching hard it and it's leaving a dent. It is. Um, are we rocky on the ropes? I think we are. Yeah, it's, seriously. Oh, cut me. Cut me. Yeah, and what and round would that be against Ivan Drago? So well, they went, he went the distance damage. on Ivan. Didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so yeah. basically, <laughs> the original Ad Apocalypse was what, like three or four months ago? Yeah, it was about March, April time frame. And that was just a bunch of videos 
weren't saying that they were demonetized. Right. They were just not making any money. No there were no ads. No ads. And it was very suspicious. Yes. Now it's the kind of thing where things are getting demonetized, but you can't do anything about it, and right. you're not sure why. So, you, so yeah. to YouTube's credit, uh, you can immediately re request a manual review. Yeah. I, oh, I'm sorry, Lawrence. Am I am I blowing no, up your bullet points? Not here? at all. Not at all. Just for the sake of the audience, and uh, apologize for anyone who really wants to watch the intro of Saints Row with that's right, so fine. Call it that. Here is sorry, <laughs> my bad. So um, this is actually a lot of people on the internet right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mute all the video game sounds in the background while mm -hmm. we're looking at this. Um, a lot of people. This is just for the edification of the audience because not everyone is a YouTuber or yeah. looks at YouTube back in. Yeah. Nor should they be. Yeah. <laughs> so this is That's our job. <laughs> just to, just to kind of exemplify how raunchy this stuff is getting. I uploaded to my personal channel some footage of just me playing uh, PUBG. Mm -hmm. uh, because because I'm a I'm I'm a YouTube <laughs> genius. Pretty good. Too. <laughs> I'm the first person who I thought was to pretty play. good at the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was good. Top fifty. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not very good. <laughs> so a couple of things about this. This is what it looks like. Um, I remember one of the big problem or one of the things I thought was very curious about the original Apocalypse was that there was no notification. Mm -hmm. It's just ads stopped running on your content. That's what happened to us for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. All all ads were gone. Now it just looks like you get a Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, now they, everybody gets a yellow. <laughs> they give you a like, special this is worth four thousand dollars. <laughs> No, nope. they do give you a special little indicator here that says uh, We've noticed that it may not be suitable for users You can request a manual review and then you get this lovely message that says right now We are only able to review videos with at least a thousand views in the past seven days oh. We'll review your video once it reaches that threshold Ooh. which it probably never will because who cares about my own personal YouTube channel <laughs> the, the interesting thing about this is This video was uploaded with a date stamp and PUBG just the four letters PUBG uh, No tags or no oops. tags no nothing. Oops. Pubes G. And it got ads pulled. Um, what was the thumbnail? It what I didn't have a thumbnail. It was probably just a thumbnail from the video. Yeah. Ooh. So that's the problem right there. It may have been a guy with a gun. I mean, the auto thumbnail possibly could have been. Yeah. But uh, I think the amazing thing now is people are already hammering. So this stuff is happening, and it's costing a lot of people a lot of money because YouTube basically all the ad rev is made in the first week or so. Mm -hmm. After that, the video is basically dead. You get maybe. A, quarter from it. Mm -hmm. um, so if a video gets auto-popped by this unknown algorithm, you've basically lost all the revenue on that video because they cannot review videos fast enough to keep up with how ads are served on YouTube. Um, people are trying to figure out how this is working, which is another interesting angle. Um, Total Biscuit was, uh, he tweeted out this thing basically asking for people to experiment with videos that they're uploading either uh, what's in the videos the thumbnails of the videos it's a great idea. It's a fantastic idea, yeah. and he found some weird shit so uh, at Nero James Uploaded a, uh, a video of a dog and then another video with like two seconds added onto the end of it Because if you do a double upload YouTube will just reject one of them mm -hmm. one of them has a man with a gun the other one is just a doggy as the thumbnail and then Not much later than the man with the gun got hmm. demonetized and doggy did not yeah. so there's something about the algorithm that can Visually identify guns and thumbnails. Oh, yeah, of course. It gets even weirder. Yeah, of course uh, He uploaded a video that has just m16 ar15 ak47 <laughs> and guns, guns. Well, written in text that got dinged so of course it, can, it, did. it can detect text Yeah, uh, of course it can and he even did one with just suggestive words. It took longer, but <laughs> cocaine suicide rape sex oh, Wow, yeah, that eventually got dinged too. So there is, there His appears- channel got shut down. For <laughs> <laughs> you, TV! He needs a test one that has Sonic written all over it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there, does. there appears to be some kind of crazy robot out there that is, uh, that is finding suggestive content and removing ads from it with very, very aggressive, uh, well, stipulations. Have well, you ever seen the Boston Dynamics robot that tries to open the door and oh, falls, falls over? over? <laughs> I think that's his job right now, is he's just going, he's overloaded, <laughs> he's falling over. Every time he sees the word gun, yeah, he, he goes, demonetizes. Yeah, bar, <laughs> yeah, bad, bad. <laughs> that's been happening a lot to Funhouse, actually, the, uh, the Weed Shop video we uploaded a few weeks ago. That went up and got a ton of views, so that was good. It was, uh, a lot of people have been speculating that the recommendation engine is also affected by this demonetization. So if a video gets demonetized, then people are saying that YouTube also then takes it out of the recommendation engine. Uh, so then they won't recommend the video and it'll get less views. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't the case for Weed Shop. Got a ton of views, but it was immediately demonetized. Um, and it had a weed leaves all over the thumbnail. It's a great thumbnail. Do by you the way. know, was it recommended or is it just I'm, a good I, video that got 
our internal community activated about it. And as far as I knew, like the way from what I from what I know about YouTube in terms it of recommendation, no I, I think I think it was because okay. I, 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 I would I would have noticed a large hit, and the reason mm -hmm. I say that is because I've been talking with uh, Evan also, mm -hmm. and he noticed the same thing on Rooster Teeth. He noticed that some of the videos were not getting in, put into the gotcha. recommendation engine, and their views were by you know like lower yeah. by fifty thousand views or whatever. It's legal yeah. in California, so. YouTube. And I, I know, and that's, that's what's funny about that is that that's what I was thinking. I mean, obviously, it's not legal. Well, across I mean, the guns world. is legal too. Guns are legal too. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, it's 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 one of those. States. But again, that's depends on the region you're in and all that other stuff. I get it. Um, this is what happens though. It's like you're right. on someone else's platform. Right. It's we we can we can whine and complain all day. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're trying to appease a robot that's yeah. just. <laughs> and, and we even have a direct contact that is more or less been pretty quiet. We're like, hey, what's up? They're like, we're looking into it, and then. We'll Hello. Get, he'll 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 get he'll, he'll get, get there, but I'm, I'm sure he he's overwhelmed yeah. right They're now. Yeah. Yeah. Know, he'll get back yeah. to us. Well, it's funny. This is funny because it's you know for we have we've gone on the record numerous times saying like, hey, be careful. This isn't this isn't something any of us own. Yeah. It's something that a different entity owns. So when things go wrong or whatever, it's not. There's no Nothing. obligation right. to set up a system that works for you. So you can get upset, but the smartest thing to do would be to find some other way to do it. And, but it's still funny that it's still like at the point where we're like, God damn it! Well, it's, it still sucks. <laughs> like we are aware totally of it, sucks. but it's still it's like, God, this still fucking money. sucks. Well, yeah. the, the thing that still sucks. So the, there's a, the really interesting point here is that if you get enough people that are complaining, and enough, enough people that don't want to be on YouTube anymore, then that affects the YouTube platform. Yeah. But where do they go? Um, yeah. I, and, and that's Vimeo, fan, that's, bro. That's a fantastic yeah. question. But Vimeo doesn't. I don't think they allow for video games. Pornhub. Um, they, don't, they don't allow for uh, less live play. leak. We I did mean, get like, the offer to po have a channel on YouPorn. Yeah, I, so, so, might have to. To so this, so it's well, we might get to. I think Ooh, th this yeah. whole this whole uprising, <laughs> if you want to call it the YouTube uprising, uh -huh. is uh, is the fact that somebody, if either going to improve the platform that is out there, like a live leak or a Vimeo, or they make make their own. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I, well, no, I know it's just going to take a little bit, but but again. YouTube has to start kind of listening to all their creators or else they may not have as many creators yeah. uh, in a yeah. while here. How, how about I blow your mind? So. They, uh, YouTube doesn't want to listen to their creators because YouTube wants to be something that it's not. Mm -hmm. And it wants to be a family-friendly Disney channel. Sure. And the faster it can get there, the better. And the more they can put their hands and go, we're just we're doing what we got to do. Sorry, guys. Yeah. And, then, and then they just... Rather than telling PewDiePie, "Hey, you can't do your content on here," they're just going to starve him out. Well, that's that's the beginning of the end for YouTube. I mean, that's a, well, well it no, is, it's it, not. It, it absolutely I think, is. I think in its, it's current just a different form, direction it well, wants to go. I think in its current form, it's definitely the beginning of the end. The problem is, like, anytime you look up what the most popular, consistently popular videos on YouTube are, like PewDiePie may be the biggest channel, but in terms of views, it's music videos and lullabies. Yeah. Like oh, uh, <laughs> you know, was like it unboxings and like unboxings toy reviews? and makeup tutorials and things that are like totally safe in terms of this. So like, I mean, so it's five year olds it's, with it's, uh, it's, unlimited income. It's our yeah, world right. and it's totally affecting our a world. But the I think the unfortunate truth for us is that I'm sure whatever algorithm that they're looking at was built first by going, these are the majority of things that we don't want to fuck with. Yeah, these super safe videos that make up a ton of money for us and can sell any ads on them that we want to this is the safest stuff that we have and then the next thing down is like gaming which is big but maybe not as big as some of this other stuff it'll, i don't know it'll definitely affect youtube viewership by a lot yeah and, and absolutely. That's, that's sort of the thing is that the way youtube's always worked is they always want the most people on mm -hmm. watching the most amount of content sure well that's the opposite yeah. that, what this is right now is if, if you're trying to drive content creators away then it's exactly the opposite. So you're, you're trying to curate the platform, which is different. That's a that's the, a different approach than YouTube has had in the past. The interesting hmm. thing for me is that thinking about it is how, like starting what, like a year ago, whatever, there was like the whole push for like gaming.youtube.com. Yeah. I'm surprised they haven't shifted that off into kind of its own platform where different rules apply. Just, well, call, it, just call it something different other than YouTube. Right, well, it, and yeah. that's the thing. You is just that, call it gaming or yeah. like whatever. Game ITG, YouTube, and maybe. you use the same back-end no. infrastructure that you've already built, except no. that's where all the gaming content goes. But, well, you whatever. know what you do, though? You call it YouTube After Dark. And <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm serious. I'm totally I've done serious. After Dark before. I, I, don't call it After Dark, but <laughs> no, regardless, YouTube After Dark, but then only sell the ads on the mature content. Yeah. That's that's all you do. That's it's like Comedy idea. Central after 10 p.m. Yeah. You know that the ads that run on South Park and all that and Tosh and all that other stuff, 
those are the people that want to advertise on YouTube after dark. Yeah. So then you start a whole new platform. That's a good idea. Is is actually bring all that content in another place, but mm -hmm. put it on YouTube. Call it the G spot. And send call it the G spot like yeah. a G four. Oh, did oh, oh, they do that already? Yeah, they, Damn they, it, they got sue us. <laughs> and one of the one of the best jobs I ever had was when I had to do uh, around the net after, after dark, dark, which basically was my license to look up softcore pornography <laughs> um, for about forty five minutes during the course of my work day. Yeah, it was it was weird. Let me tell you, watching the uh, was it around the net after dark in the studio with like fifteen other guys? That yeah. was really strange to watch. Well, it was, it, the best thing is I used to have to do it and then sit there and watch down with legal and standards <laughs> and practices <laughs> and be like, no, he's just massaging her breasts. <laughs> would you would you have would you is it not okay to massage someone's back? <laughs> like, <laughs> See, and, and people can sell ads on that. You can sell ads on any on almost anything. I mean, we we are, we're in a very lucky position where we can sell ads like on this podcast where mm -hmm. where it's very. On family friendly because oh, yeah, we yeah. say all the bad things about Sonic. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean that, that sort of stuff is actually keeping us going right now. That and the, merch you mean, and I mean like the direct ads. Like, yeah. Like first, uh, first membership for merch and is helping, it, but yeah. appealing like, to the sadly, yeah. yeah, we're in a state where appealing to a broad audience or making content that appeals to a broad audience is no longer in our interest as creators, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah, it, it is. It is, and, and again, that's not at all the YouTube that we know and no. love. Um, mm -hmm. that it's a, that's a it's a totally different YouTube and. I don't know if this is a result of what happened with Adpocalypse, or if it's more of like, or if it was an actual YouTube plan. I have no idea. Oh, I don't think it. I, I think it's a result. I, yeah, YouTube got caught between a, a, a very hard rock and a very hard place. They, uh, on one side, you have the system as it was, which allowed for and enabled very extremist content. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say that gaming is part of that. It's more just like the political stuff, the fucking recruitment videos for extremist groups. Um, We're also going to put that as a Vimeo, no one's going to see it. Well, right. I mean, <laughs> that stuff could go up at such a volume that YouTube needed a programmatic solution. And, and once one screenshot got out of a, a Coke ad running on an unsavory video, YouTube was fucked. Absolutely fucked. That was the one thing that, that could not happen. Yeah. Um, so now they're in the position of to, to make their advertisers comfortable, they have to push further back the other way. Yep. Mm -hmm. And gaming content is really caught in the crossfire of all that, yeah. uh, pun intended. The the thing is, I, I can empathize I can empathize with YouTube's position, because if you know if Walmart thinks for a second that they're going to get thrown on a here's why black people need to get kicked out of America video, right? They're going to pull every last cent. <laughs> yeah, that's you can like, chill that's out with like that. What he uploads on to his the channel. right to the right, Adam. <laughs> to the right, sorry, um, I don't have my glasses on. Everything. The, the very objective blurry. marker is covered by the hacking thing. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Right oh, there. Hey, there you are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hacking mini game. Nice. Um, nice job. So yeah, <laughs> it's. <laughs> What it sucks because I can understand the logistics of what's going on and I can't really think of a better solution mm -hmm. But this does mean that if you wanted to get into gaming content on YouTube and pull any kind of money out of it That is that goalpost just got moved so much further away. Yeah, it really and did unless look, look, somehow the machine learns and that's what they do theoretically YouTube celebrity learned. Lauren Sontag couldn't even get his video looked yeah, at. I know. <laughs> My five dollars, YouTube. <laughs> five dollars, really? That's uh, actually more well, like maybe. Two. No, no, no. Uh, it wouldn't need lucky, me nearly yeah. that much. Yeah. In aggregate, I can maybe squeeze a two two figures out of YouTube in a given month, but Ooh. now that's just gone, which is fine. I was already kind of used to that. I, I use a lot of copyright and stuff in uh, in my stupid streams and things like that. So, I, it was I never had skin in that particular game. I just know there are a lot of people who do. And this must be so disheartening, especially if you were just on the cusp of like being able to make your rent payment off your YouTube channel, and all of a sudden all that money goes away. Or if you're, if you don't have the uh, the, the the comfort blanket of rooster teeth to roll up with at night, if you own your own channel, and all your revenue is tied up in YouTube ad advertising, this is real scary. And 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 I I can viewer if you're upset because I or we weren't as um, severe about it when it was happening the first time around. Personally, I was just like, well, I'm not going to freak out yet because I'm going to give YouTube time to deal with the problem. Yeah. And now that they have or they are, it is sort of driving towards a place that I think is very scary. They so. determined that you're the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Advertiser, we got rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> almost every uh, almost every creator we've talked to that's on YouTube recently in the last few weeks and months is extremely frustrated. Like mm -hmm. uh, everyone's always like, yeah, like there goes my there goes my money. Like. Mm -hmm. And and it is their lifeblood. It's it's how they make a living, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's interesting to hear a bunch of people complain about this stuff. And I don't necessarily feel like like Adam always says. I don't I don't feel sorry for them because it is the platform they accepted. Right. We 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 know that that's where we were. But at the same time, if 
you've been doing this kind of stuff for years and years and years, and then YouTube decides to change the game completely on you, then there's a little something there that you may have to start thinking about, well, is YouTube making the right decision? Are they doing the right thing? And I, Lawrence, I think you're right. I think it's a machine learning thing where they're going to eventually get to a good place, but right now it really sucks. It really sucks for a lot of different people. Um, and it's gonna suck for viewers too, because eventually those people are gonna leave or make different content. Um, one it's already making us think of yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. what, what is the future of Funhouse? Like, what We're, are we gonna do? Yeah, like, what are we gonna do? How can we sustain what, whatever the hell we're doing? Right. Like, it, our priorities will probably shift soon. Yeah. But, I mean, we've talked about that for years, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, like, yeah. you got to stay fluid. You got to stay liquid because mm -hmm. this thing is ever changing. If you want to be the one guy who's sitting there and being like, radio used to pay me a lot of money. Why isn't it paying me money now? Yeah. I'm going to be sit here and get mad. The newspaper business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the papers are selling. So, yeah. you, so you got to you got to shift with it. Um, but I I do think there is a way for YouTube to salvage all of this, and that's just by. Uh, fixing their ad serving uh, process, <laughs> just like, and that's something I know. I'm sure I know they're working on because like well, they've told us that they they've told us that they're trying to fix it and trying to sell more specific ads on the mature content that they know exists. Yeah. But they got to man, they got to hurry. It's but, a small. This is a small microcosm of what's going to happen during the robot revolution, mm -hmm. right? Because the dream is. We just have robots do all the shitty stuff for us, right? right? And then the, and computers and AI, that'll handle it, and then we don't have to worry about it. Like my Roomba. YouTube is kind of that on a smaller scale. It is, absolutely. They, had, they, they set up a system where the robots can handle it, and Hello. but now the robots are like not that good. Yeah. Or they're making decisions that aren't that don't work for everyone. The they're probably survive. the most efficient decisions, but they're not the great, <sighs> no, the no, best yeah, one, and it's going one. to deplete so it's basically like a robot. <laughs> it's Speaking basically of. like a robot, you know, saying like, "We have determined that these types of people are not as efficient as other, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. We are going to eliminate them, yeah, or whatever it is." And you're like, "Wait, hold on! No, 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 no!" no. <laughs> Don't um, do that. Um, that one's a zero. Kind of that. Yeah. This is gonna. This is what self-driving cars are gonna be, boys. Oh man! This, I can't wait. We are plowing through the farmer's market. So, it is the oh. fastest route. <laughs> I know. I'm so worried. I'm so worried about that. That I man was wait. going to die anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny too because we always do the robot voice even the robots don't talk like that ever. Yeah. No, not they anymore. Like Maybe they will. Like that. So oh, they, we have they Alexas and Siri's. The thing that uh, I, I anticipate what's going to happen now is going to get pretty funky. Basically the people who peddle in this kind of content uh, will find ways to they'll like learn the machine learning so they'll find ways to make thumbnails or titles that dodge around They'll invent their other language where it's like if, if a, I'm gonna take it to extremes if I want to make a video white supremacy I'm gonna call it like chicken soup. Yeah, and and then I'll have my chicken soup recipe And that'll oh, be our secret nod like, and that's right. like our trees Ka Yeah, yeah kind of yeah, they're like <laughs> <We're just smart. laughs> I, <laughs> Fucking potheads <laughs> <laughs> I think there will be uh, a wave of that and then I don't know what happens then once like once the the, the secret handshake to confuse the robot <laughs> Like either either YouTube will have to give up on 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 programmatically de-incentivizing that kind of content, or it'll always be this cat and mouse for the rest of time, and hopefully other kinds of content that aren't that don't deserve demonetization. Hopefully they will get left out of this this little slap fight between uh, unsavory content well, and YouTube advertisers. Well, also, kind of what you're talking about there, like I guess for those if anyone is kind of confused, like what you're kind of hitting on there, say you make a video about Counter Strike. Mm. You're already talking mm. about terrorism or yeah. like bomb defusal in under five minutes and then the robot goes bad bad mm. like, Who's making bombs? Yeah, it's like <laughs> this is a video game that quite literally hurts nobody mm -hmm. Everyone's safe. Yeah. Everyone's fine. No one's learning how to use a bomb <laughs> It's it's a video game and the robot's like what is video game? <laughs> yeah. So now we have to teach the fucking video robot game. <laughs> yeah. But let's say you even teach it to scan for gameplay that is visually similar to Counter-Strike Then somebody can just put in a little bug of Counter-Strike gameplay into their video mm -hmm. Where they're actually recruiting for a terrorist organization like yeah. there are ways that might work Huh? I said that might work. It might work. Free deagles. Yeah, yeah free deagles yeah. for all. So skins I'm, for your guns, for I'm, your wops. I mean, I'm excited ops. for the, Sorry. <laughs> the right. post it's fallout of all this, which are a bunch of people who aren't family friendly go entering into content making with the pretense of being family friendly, mm -hmm. but then it's like all the sex scandals that fall out of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Like, oh, he was a it's friend. It's kind of like he VidCon. Was, or whatever, yeah. It's like, <laughs> it, it basically, yeah. It's just that, only now it's in every single facet oh, of YouTube. It's like, it's like I've always said, YouTube is, YouTube is not what it wants to be. Mm. It is it, it is ashamed of itself <laughs> because it, it, it so badly all? wants to be 
premium content that the family loves. It wants to be Disney. It wants everyone to be smiles and mm -hmm. happy. Basically wants to be like a Scientology recruitment video. But <laughs> then you, you look at your poster child, your number one savior, PewDiePie. and it's PewDiePie. Yeah. And they go, that's not what we want to be. Yeah. And so they're just trying to starve it little by little. And he's like, fuck you. Like, I'm just going to keep doing my thing. And God bless him. Yeah. But man, oh man, it's... But that leads to diversity. Well, PewDiePie's on Twitch. This, this is what this, happens. When it's just, this, well, this, that's what I hope happens is they yeah. go, I, I don't, I never liked the mothership mentality. I hated it at Machinima mm. when they were like, we're going to, we're going to throw this, this A brand on everything. And it is like, well, why isn't it working? It worked on Respawn and it worked on the main channel. Dang. We, we put in front of sports and verses and, uh, I don't know, cats. It's, nothing's working. <laughs> Machinima cats. They, so, they, so, so I'm, call it YouTube and then YouTube gaming and YouTube kids and YouTube trucks. It's like <laughs> let's let's alphabet the fuck out of this and call it something else. Well, Subdivide here's, everything. Here's oh. the sad truth: when you give when you give human beings, all human beings, access to something, right? It's going to be a reflection of humanity. Of, of okay. yeah, of them. That's that's the sad truth. YouTube and looked so, in the mirror and they didn't so, like what they saw. I mean, <laughs> it's basically hum humanity looking back. If this is what you don't like, this is kind of what we are yep. at this point yep. in society and have been for. Thousands of years, well, like well, you YouTube know? said, here's a mask. Yeah. Now go do whatever you yeah, want. Yeah. You're like, oh really? Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I guess it, it should be something like, if you want to leave a comment, you need to put your social security number on that. Scan your retina. All, all of it oh, except man, for yeah. one number. I was gonna say you take an you take the uh, whole anonymous aspect, and then you have now a, a steroid addled like just just a terrorizing version of humanity because there's no accountability whatsoever. Well, you're getting some of that, and I, I do not want to get political at all on this, but the, the Charlottesville thing's been really interesting. Mm -hmm. Like, Lawrence brought up a good point where there's a lot of guys now being outed for being, you know, white supremacists, and, like, one dude even switched colleges and all this stuff, mm -hmm. and I think, Lawrence, you made the joke, you're like, like, what if we just put on masks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, big Mas pointy masks so we can <laughs> see each other. Right. <laughs> but we're going to have to cut eye holes in them yeah. so we can see. Yeah. No one will know who we are. Then what's our favorite color? Yeah. White. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, that's why. We need a catchy acronym. Uh, but, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's interesting to see what happens when you could be, you could be a total scumbag on the internet mm -hmm. and say the most vile things, but then the minute it becomes a, a reality or someone can look you up because they can find your Facebook and your OK Cupid profile. I'm getting cars, bro. What's that? Sorry, what? I'm just oh, letting Bruce know he can drive cars in this game. Yep. <laughs> Bruce oh loves cars. Oh my car. gosh, I love car. Wait, I don't remember what car button is. Probably why. Yeah, you I just need a car. It's just why. How do I, how do I get it? I don't yeah. know. In Saints Row, typically why? you just, there, there you is. go. Yeah. And there we go. Okay. Cool, look at you, your hero. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no worries. This is great. Grand Theft Auto. We're at an interesting crossroad where it is, people don't want to give up their anonymous identity, but but they want to say like big adult things that change the world. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like I want. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's a really interesting human dynamic. Yeah. Um, you know what's also interesting? Cooking. Sorry, I didn't have a better nice. segue. Nice. <laughs> I gotta get this way. Uh, guess you're, we'll get you're gonna get that streamy award for best segue. Oh, I hope so. Um, they don't have an award for that. Oops. Yet. <laughs> um, don't cook in a mask. They probably won't see what you're doing. So uh, yeah, this spot this podcast is sponsored by Blue Apron. And uh, like all podcasts sponsored by Blue Apron, it's time for another Adventures oh, in Cooking with Lawrence. Because uh, I have to I have to brand everything now. Uh, I came to two realizations this week, two, two learnings in regards to cooking. If you recall, in the past, I had trouble with fish. I couldn't get it to release from the pan. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'd go in to scrape it, some little fish bits would stick. And I'd have a... Fond? I'd have a... Oh, well, yeah. I mean, fond is different. Like, mm -hmm. this would actually break the filet oh, okay. apart. Uh, so it didn't present <laughs> as well. Just throwing pans away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this never works. Dang. <laughs> I experimented with it. I got the oil smoking hot this time. Nice. Threw some salmon in there, mm -hmm. and it didn't stick at all. Then again, I never really had too much of a problem with salmon, but still. I did overcook it just a smidge. It was a, it was a little dry, but um, I'm learning. I gotta, I gotta put it on very hot oil. Flip that, flip that bad boy. And you also have an electric oven, which makes it a little it. tricky. Yeah, uh, gas ovens, gas ranges are the best. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm progressing towards getting the perfect fish cook going on. Just need a few more, uh, a few more attempts, and then uh, oh yeah, the other thing was this is something I tried to do a lot when I was younger. I sort of gave up on it because it messed me up more than it helped. But now I'm wrapping back around. I'm doing the thing where I read forward in in the instructions, and if particular ingredients are combined all in a pan. I'll just, when I'm doing my cut and prep, I'll just combine them all in a bowl instead of having them all separate. Mm -hmm. And that way I save cleaning four or five dishes, which helps me uh, save water and also save space. 
So yeah, it, ta it takes a bit more mental faculties to look ahead and think like, okay, this gets combined with that so I can just put them together now. Uh, but that's what I did, and it worked out great. Except I accidentally put green onions in the wrong place, and I had to sort of pick them off. Oh, oh. man, we get the, the white, the, they're like, put the whites aside from the green ones, and yeah. you accidentally put one in the other, and you're like, ah. You gotta pick them out. It's, it's a presentation. It, it, it really is. Yeah, you need that dash of color, so. Yeah, <laughs> it looks good. Uh, but that's where I'm at now. Uh, along with that, I'd like to, to remind you one of the, one of the Blue Apron talking points is the variety that they can offer you. Uh, there's, there are, there are recipes, really, from all over the culinary map, all sorts of meats and vegetables. Uh, so that helps me, you know, learn to cook fish in addition to beef or chicken or vegetable or vegetarian meals are pretty interesting to work with too. Um, turns out vegetarian stuff is still food and it still tastes really good. <laughs> I don't know, some people are like, vegetarian, no thank you. It's like, well, it's still food, man. It's still good food. Uh, so yeah, you can either pick yourself from a, uh, in a given week, there's like a list of recipes you can pick from, or just let them pick for you and then you, it's a surprise when you get it in the mail. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, uh, you can check out this week's menu and get your first three meals for free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash soup. Uh, once more, blueapron.com slash soup, S-O-U-P. Thank you, Blue Apron. Uh, you continue to enrich my life. And listener, I hope that they can enrich yours as well. Yeah. We got the best URL ever from Blue Apron. Yeah, Blueapron.com right? slash soup. How do we yeah. get that URL? We might trick people. It's an amazing mm -hmm. URL. I'd like some soup. Yeah. It's perfect. Um, related, slightly unrelated. You know what gets me like really hard these days? Yeah. It's like just looking at cutting boards and knives. Ooh. Oh, I was up. Like I was up. real nice ones? Like real nice ones. Oh, Justin, I went to like the world market thing yesterday. I was like, ooh, look at this, look at this cutting board, man. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. Making my Christmas list Good now. Good tools. You know, you know, you know what gets me hard is women. Becoming adults. Women get me hard. What? Holding cutting boards and knives. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a prep station actually in my kitchen. I'm really excited about it. Uh, <laughs> you sounded this like is, this is the worst segue in the world, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, you know what gets me really hard? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was telling Adam that this weekend there was a sale on Capcom stuff on Steam. Ooh. Um, and I was like, oh, Street, Street Fighter, Fighter 5. DLC, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, it's good. None of the DLC was on sale. No. The game itself was on sale, and it cost less to own the game than it <laughs> did to buy the costume pack for season two, which had like four characters worth of costumes. Really? Yeah, the costumes are way, and I was like, this is stupid, man. I would play this game so much more if I could get those costumes and unlock them in a reasonable way, which isn't playing for 100 hours. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was like, wait, mods. This game has mods. Yeah. So I started looking up mods, and man, you can do any costume in the world with any... It's funny, there's like, here's a male character, and there's like, three costume options, and then there's like Chun-Li, and it goes on for like... Uh, <laughs> of course. There was one that was like, Priorities. three different sizes to Armika's boobs. Nice. I was like, nice! That's what gets me hard. And I was like, this gets me hard. Yeah, exactly. I So do they allow mods, or is it third party I mean oh no it's it's all way. you go through it's like a mod team. manager or whatever but okay okay gotcha I didn't know if it was like Steam Workshop I, I just that would be the dumbest fucking thing in the world for Capcom to do be like oh. we're gonna charge you $80 for these skins I'm but then listen, oh you know just download whatever I'm one of the tracer go for it I'm one of the yeah yeah these are like you could play it's tracer tracers in it Widowmakers in it but you said Diva's people in it people can't see you with that skin, I don't right? Just shit. It's just me. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just me. I don't care. I'm yeah. just saying. I'm, yeah, yeah. That's the only disadvantage. Because when you buy the skins, people can see the skins, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, who, fuck that guy. Who it's cares? weird. It's, I, I was just saying. It's just so, they could be making so man. much money if they just reasonably brought that stuff down. And since no one's buying Street Fighter, you'd think that, right? Like, yeah, they, they would, would, want, they the would be like, let's yeah. find a way to milk the people out of it. But that's it. That's the, the uh, boners that I was getting from Armika's okay. level three breast size. Hey, which bon I, I, I saw I some, some Japanese knives that were like half off, and I was like, "Ooh, might be good." Yeah, we're just having two different conversations. Well, no, I mean, these are things that get us hard. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to think of something that got me hard, other than a woman. Over the, I mean, we were talking about women. Armika yeah. is a woman. <laughs> She's a real woman. <laughs> She's a wrestler and a woman. She's more woman than you can handle, Bruce. Oh yeah, I like that one. I watched Glow. Yeah. I binged Glow oh, last yeah. week. That got me hard. Were well, you uh, gonna watch Death Note? I know, I do need to watch Death Note, I absolutely But Death Note, movies come I mean, out like a week. Well, yeah. that was a live action But Death Note series. isn't just a movie. Nah, it's just oh. a movie. Uh, Death Note isn't urgent. That's Glow, true. Glow just came out. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you watched Death Note 10 years after it came out. I know, <laughs> but I, I'm just like, I know you Bruce could always like come it. in I'm sure and watch I would Death like Note. It. Yeah. I, I was like, imagine, because uh, I know you like Attack on Titan, and we're, like Bruce and I are, I think, in the, the same vein where like we don't watch anime for the sake of anime. No. We just go like, oh, if it's good, it's good. If it's good television, it's good television. We'll watch good stuff, and like, Death Note was one of the best, like, Shows I've seen like mm -hmm. has some weird moments, but it, It's a lot like attack on Titan without any 
it's like never slow. Yeah. Every yeah, episode, yeah. I'm like, yes, and it it takes place in the real world, and there's like there's a little there's there's some supernatural stuff, but it's it's not like giant. You think Attack on Titan would be balls of the wall, crazy all the time, but it's not. It's got some really fucking slow parts. It's got some really good dra- really good drama in it. Is it- Costs a lot of money to draw really good animation. Yes, well, yes looks, exactly. <laughs> animation's still really expensive. But they still do a great job with the drama. Of yeah. At least in this in this uh, season. There's I need a to skill set to animation and the uh, the whole aspect of right. time pacing. Well, okay. Pacing your budget. Yeah. So I, I actually I, I bring up Death Note because I had a question for James and Lawrence. Uh-huh. And because do you guys do you guys ever watch anime with the English? Yeah, uh, I prefer yeah, sometimes. it. I know, I know that's frowned upon. Whatever. Not anymore. It was in like the 90s. Yeah, because okay. those were awful. Because they were really bad and they were like, we're just, people don't want to care about this actual thing, then, so we're just yeah. going to retranslate it real quick. But now they have really good voice directors and voice actors. So. That was double fold, yeah. The translations were bad. Like it was a bunch of, it was a bunch of enthusiasts that were trying to make anime cool. So there was a lot of a lot of weird edge and like hip language thrown into things where it didn't make sense. Oh, and then also layered on top of genuinely bad voice actors mm-hmm. and okay. actresses. They, it My was, apologies if you were active. There. They weren't like <laughs> they didn't trust the culture of Japan translating for some things too. So like Lawrence said, they would adapt stuff in stupid yeah. ways. Okay, like, I, I don't know about you plebs. I watch with subtitles. I absolutely watch see, with subtitles. But my problem with yeah, that I'll is I feel either. like I'm missing matter. the show. I'm missing that. Expensive, it beautiful is, animation. You're looking down. I'm looking down. Yeah. I agree. So I would say anime is the best thing to watch with subtitles because a lot of times it'll just be a shot of this person's medium <laughs> oh, close yeah, up and true. then this person's, and then there'll be like one shot of an alley with a couple raindrops yeah. as it's panning that's and some point. character does a monologue. So you're like, oh, that's the shot, and then now I can just read. Hmm, that's a really so good I mean, point. but I, some anime doesn't work that way, and yeah. you do feel like you're missing action when stuff's happening. Yeah, I like to write on animation. But I've like having right. watched a lot of yeah. like. You know, even Hong Kong action movies, you do feel like you're missing more. Oh, yeah, with yeah. subtitles, interestingly, but the dubs don't work as well because it's clearly not that actor's voice. Let me let me tell you a secret: yeah. that the more that I watch anime with the actual Japanese voice actors and the subtitles, yeah. the more that I think I'm going to learn Japanese. Yeah, I totally. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you and right? every other right? guy. Here on we the are, internet. 33 years yeah. later, and I'm, I'm getting no better closer. at it. Come on, I, I know a few words. Ohayo gozaimasu. There it is. I know konnichiwa. Yep. Uh, I know that one. Mushy mush. I, I, mushy mush, mush, yeah. That I is. That Bruce, Bruce a is a college freshman right now, I think. <laughs> the more I watch anime, the more I learn Japanese, baby. Hey, Bruce, have you ever thought about going to Japan and teaching English in a, a Japanese high school? You could do that. You actually probably could. I, yeah. I have thought about that many times. Um, but Say I you're Tom Cruise. But I don't know. <laughs> You'd meet a Japanese Oh, wife. I miss a Tom Cruise! <laughs> Tom Cruise is a beast. <laughs> she would bow a lot, right, for you? I can't be a liar immediately when I arrive. Jeez. They won't know. No, yes. That's just your wicked sense of humor. Uh, Jerry Lewis yeah. was your teacher, rest in peace. He's uh, dead, yeah. Oh, that's oh, the thing. I know, now they can't fault you. The Japanese trust, and that's what I love about them. They trust everybody. <laughs> they do? No matter what, they, yeah. Okay. The, the Japanese never learned how to lie. So oh, they don't. They don't that. think anyone else can either. Got it. Interesting. Yeah, they don't have a word for it. Interesting concept. That's something anime taught I, me. I did go to. Have you been to that Hiroshima place? Uh, yeah. The place called Chinchiri. Hiroshima, Chin- the city. No, no, no. no, it no, no. It's in the Hiroshima's favorite. Oh. Dish. Yeah. It's called Chinchuri. Chin, 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 you chin, typed it to me, and I still couldn't pronounce it. Because I copied it. Chip, chim, 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 chichuri. Chip, 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 chipperoo. That's what it's called. I think I, think I, know, what you're ta- I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. But. It's chin, chir, 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 chir. <laughs> You'd like it, Lawrence. It, it's I like, agree, I would. No, no, it's, it's, like a, it's a cake. You'd love it. It's a cake, cake of like noodles and cabbage and yeah, bacon. It's just like oh. layered stuff. And then they just like, right. then, then the topping's always like, Broccoli and shrimp and mayonnaise. Or yeah, no, I know what you're. Th- yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. have to You eat it like a little wooden paddle. How's it spelled, Lawrence? Uh, yeah, yeah. C H I C H I C H I C H I. There's an R in there. There's an R in there somewhere. C H I U U U. I messaged it to James because I asked him on Saturday. Chin 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 Um, I have seen that in documentaries and stuff, but I can't remember what it's called. So there's there's teppanyaki, but I don't think that's what you guys are talking about. Chin chin well, right chin, 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 It says, chin, it says, chip, 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 ch
Game of Thrones. Ah. Game of Thrones was fucking awesome. Like I, it's so rare that I would say that after an episode in the last six seasons. True. But this season's had been motherfucking so, amazing. Let me ask you. Uh huh. The question on everybody's mind. <laughs> yeah. Not really. The criticism that people are <laughs> yes. finding for the show yeah, is yeah. that now things are happening too fast. Fuck that shit. No way. We had way. six seasons of nothing. Piss off. We had We've been six, building to this yeah, shit. We had six seasons. This of is nothing. great. If you have a problem with people teleporting around. Fuck off, I man. It doesn't matter. We got two seasons of uh, Brian and Jamie walking down a road. Yeah. I'm okay with them just going, and a boat took them there. Time <laughs> passed. I'm okay with that now. Well, yeah, it's like, and a dragon flew across the world. I'm well, like, I'm absolutely fine with that. Are they also, that. how many episodes of the season? Six? There's going to be eight. Eight total. Eight total, yeah. God, it went by so way too fast. Yeah, yeah. Two left? There's, I think there's only one left. One left, one left. yeah. yeah. Ah! This is, it's, but every single episode has been I mean, like the best. Um, it's been like so a movie. Generally what it happens is that the pacing of Game of Thrones seasons are episode two, right. everyone goes, oh shit, and then episode nine, everyone goes, oh shit, yep. and then everything in between is building towards those two moments. Every um, episode. This Every single episode is a guy to get bullshit man. Every <laughs> yeah, I'm episode. Me, I'm sitting on my chair going chip chip churn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well the thing is, is that like for seasons and seasons, I say, oh baby dragon, baby dragon, oh now it's a teenage dragon. It's like, Fuck these stupid dragons, they don't do anything. I'm fucking tired of these stupid, stop showing the dragons. Dragons are expensive, they're like anime. That's, yeah. that's true. And then this season, every single episode has had a giant dragon <laughs> blowing fire at everything. It's awesome. Just at large, you're missing it. It's an hour and a half of a dragon just <laughs> shooting fire. Just, ah! it's just killing <laughs> things, destroying well, them. Well, I think what they did was they went, okay, we can do 12 episodes oh, or yeah. eight. And we can cut out the walking. Yeah. And they said, let's just cut out the walking. I'm glad they did. Yeah. I'm yeah. really and glad they did. And it's just been bam, bam, bam. They've been like so feature cool. films. They've all been like like Avengers movies, but somehow yeah. with better plots mm -hmm. and more not, action. Not a lot of nudity. Well, this it's because you, you know the characters well. I got really pissed off. I watched one, at least and I were in Canada. <laughs> I got really pissed off. And so there's one episode, whatever we watched while we were there, it said, uh, it said that um, there was nudity, nudity in it, and like graphic violence and strong sexual content. I was like, nice. <laughs> and we watched it, and there was none. And I was like, oh, it just gives a rating for the whole show in general. <laughs> like, get used. To, I used to always watch an episode of like, nice. Yeah, like, say nudity. <laughs> or like, yes. Brief nudity. I'm like, what? Yeah. Uh, no. Unrelated, related. You guys should all see Atomic Blonde because it has one of the best sex scenes oh. this year. Oh yeah, Charlie Theron. Right. That's the one where she bangs out with that girl, right? Spoiler. Sorry. I didn't want to say anything. I mean, there, there I, was a whole trailer about it. it. I didn't see any trailers. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't there was, know there was a female on female sex scene. There was, there was, there was a trailer oh. where basically the entire trailer was about that one scene. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't and it made that. me, it made me a little concerned about the state of the... Fuck, that came out of nowhere for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, it, it did take some of the wind out of the sails for that movie because I was like... Oh. I I had, I had on one hand wanted to believe that that was a trailer house being very exploitative of what was in the film. Sure. And hopefully the f how how much of the movie is focused on that? Like two seconds. Great. Um, okay. Because I mean, the trailer it, was all that. And it I was goes like, one way, and you're like, oh no, what's going on? They're like, they're doing that. <laughs> right. They're doing. I, um, I don't know if I should be watching this. <laughs> I I was hoping to see it. At least got deathly ill yeah. this weekend. <laughs> So we stayed in and watched, as you guys know, because I rant about it, ranted about it all morning, a bunch of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was bad. Oh, man. <laughs> Most of the stuff I watched was pretty bad. I incidentally saw a bunch of garbage this weekend, too, with the, the Bungalow Boys. Bruce Bruce put in an appearance, but uh, ultimately had better things to do. Uh, yeah, we I watched, actually did have better things to do. Yeah. <laughs> we I was watched, excited to go. Uh, it was actually really fun. Yeah. I, I kind of wish that I hadn't left, but then I also, I'm glad that I did. So mm -hmm. We watched the... Uh, the trilogy of shit from the Star Wars universe. My trilogy. Yeah. yeah, we let off with the uh, the holiday special, which mm -hmm. is terrible. It is mind blowingly <laughs> awful. It's and then uh, so bad. Saw the two Ewok films, uh, Battle <laughs> or Caravan of Courage, which is terrible, and Battle of Endor. So I didn't know there were two. There were two. There are two. Yeah. It's um, mind blowing. I watched them when I was a kid all the time. It's really fascinating to to. The, I mean, the holiday special is amazing because it's just a lot of coke. A lot of coke and no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nobody cares. Doesn't and I, Boba Fett show up and like, hey yeah. Boba, yeah. he's like, hello Han he's, Solo. He's in an animated <laughs> short where he's riding a dinosaur on like a goo planet. I think I think the whole thing is canon, by the way. So I think that <laughs> it is actually still part of the Star Wars universe. I yeah. think. I'm There's not more exactly dialogue sure. from Boba Fett in that animated short than in all of the films. Yes. Wow, yeah, that's true. But he's got actually got a pretty cool voice. It's pretty rad. Anyway, yeah, like this. Yeah, he's yeah. very dark and gravelly. <laughs> he's no good to me, dead. Nice, that's, the man. That's that's my favorite line Those Ewok from Game movies. of Thrones. <laughs> that was, what is the plot of the Ewok movie? Tell him, Lawrence. Uh, I'd be I'd be delighted. <laughs> um, it it is a two story arc of a family that crashes on Ewok planet, 
And that the forest moon of Endor. Wait, are yeah, they on like, uh, on like on like on like Star Tours or something? Or they they're they don't really I think touch on who they are or what they're doing. <laughs> they they're just it, it opens right. with the mom and dad being like, oh god, what's happening? It's like a pretty interesting. Uh, well, interesting is the wrong word, but I can, <laughs> I can see what they were going for. It's like, oh, we're gonna start in the shit, man. These parents are looking for their kids. What's going on? But so they try to find the kids. The kids get separated. The kids find the Ewok Ewok village. They get adopted by the Ewoks, oh, and then man. the kids have to. Oh yeah, their parents get abducted by the Golgorax or something. Ah. Some giant Golgorax. Gorax. 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 all happening on uh, what's it called Endor. Yeah, For Forest Moon, Forest of, Moon Endor. Of, yeah. of Endor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so then, um, I want to say about two thirds into the movie, it finally picks up what it's supposed to be, which is a terrible Lord of the Rings ripoff. Oh. Uh, really? Yeah, I don't remember that. The brother Mace uh, and their sister I put together Mace. a merry band of Ewoks. <laughs> To go uh, rescue their parents from the from the Gomgax, and then they get <laughs> I can't tell if he's joking. They get like <laughs> magical items from a an Ewok mystic. Oh, is it what's the name of the Yogra? What's the name of the Ewok? Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> yeah. no, there's a, there's a what's the name of that thing? I don't remember. Tigra. Tigra? Ty Tyka? There, Tyka? It's like the- it's the- it's the shaman Ewok that's in the movie. If you keep going, a racial slur is about to come out. <laughs> you already- I did it on accident just trying to say him. AWP. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, it's- it's a total shitty Lord of the Rings knockoff. They travel across the forest moon of Endor, through various biomes, deserts, mountains, what have you. Fighting all manner of terrible uh, puppets and having mystical <laughs> encounters. That's true, they do. This came out- this is like, late 80s? This uh, is mid eighties. Mid eighties, so it's like eighty three, eighty four. Yeah, time okay. frame. So the right after Jedi. Oh, gotcha. So uh, they yeah. find their parents, and it's like movie's over, but they're still like I was like, wait a minute, they're still trapped on Ooh. Endor, Force Move Endor. So that's weird. And then the second movie picks up. They immediately spoilers. They immediately murder everyone except the daughter, because mm, like uh, who wait who kills them? Um, these like these Tusken Raider types just oh. invade Ewok land and kill nice. everybody. There's really no justification at all, and and much like Lord of the Rings, there's a like a head evil goblin man. Um, so then it's an evil puppet. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's uh, there was some decent there was some decent makeup in the second one of all the villainous hordes, but then it's Ma uh, Mace dies, parents die, so it's a now it's on this this like very very young girl who can barely get through a line without like crying because <laughs> uh, she's that young. Oh no, like Newt. Kind of, yeah. Oh, very, yeah. a very Newt esque uh, young lady with uh, with locks of gold um, and well, an innocent but can do spirit. Well, how does it resolve itself? Let's see here. In the second one, <laughs> wait, do, hold on. You have an ad read to do first, or no? Nope. He's all good. <laughs> okay, got plenty right, of time. Here we go. Uh, time, you say? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. So let's see. Your second movie. They already fought the Dogorax. Uh, <laughs> That's a game we played. <laughs> they go to fight. Oh, that's right. They meet up with Wilfred Brimley. Oh, Man, sweet. I forgot about that. Yeah, I know. He's everybody's, a postmaster. Everybody's he's a postman, but he's also a general. Everybody's favorite hero, Wilfred Brimley. Yeah, he plays like diabetes this, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, di okay. he's diabetes on Endor. He uh, isn't that what you think of when you think of Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh, slow down. I gotta do my insulin shot. <laughs> I mean, the Force. <laughs> <laughs> he plays like a. Oh yeah, that's right. So so the evil main goblin man was after like the power source, which is some sort of energy cell from galactic starships. But he doesn't really understand what they're for. He just knows that they're powerful, and that's how you reach the stars. And he wants to get off Endor so he can conquer other yeah, planets so or whatever. Many people live on Endor. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> so Di the girl meets up with Diabetes, who who <laughs> plays up this whole like, oh, I'm a curmudgeonly old solo role, and but I really do want her around. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a real hard uh, cut, like a really uh, endearing hard ass about it. Doesn't work at all. Um, so they meet up with them. Turns out he has another spaceship, and then they beat the Goblin Man, and fly away on Diabetes' spaceship. Huh. <laughs> And that is uh, the Endor arc that we all know and love. Yep. Uh -huh. The Damn. the wild thing is, by the end of it, there is almost zero justification that it's connected to Star Wars in any way. It's actually more like high fantasy, which was pretty in in the '80s. Uh, you know what with Legend, Willow, what have you. Mm -hmm. So it was it was totally like a ripoff of all that. And I think like the first movie had a laser gun in it. The second movie had a spaceship at the end. And those are the only Star Wars things about it. Oh. So I think that was their attempt to prove that like Star Wars could also be fantasy, that it could be anything. And it was just... So you're saying you enjoyed the holiday special the most? I did, actually. Yeah, the cinematic like, Universe. The holiday special is tough to wrap your mind around. And it's canon. Yeah, so uh, the holiday special oh, takes no, they fired place. it out of a cannon. <laughs> I wish. And it's, they, uh, it somehow made its way back to Earth. It's, uh, it's Chewbacca's family. Trying to celebrate <laughs> Life Day. Lumpy and itchy. Yeah. Oh, I love them. Yep. Uh, <laughs> So the problem and is Han and, Han and Chewie are, are out getting dogged by the Empire. Are they going to make it home in time for Life Day? 
We gotta watch a bunch of variety segments oh. to find out. <laughs> um, there's some weird shit, man. Like one, some, some like old dude brings in a VR helmet to throw on the old Wookiee man. Oh, yeah, itchy. The yeah. grandfather. He basically watches VR porn, which is this really trippy <laughs> sequence really of some happens. girl seductively yeah, really singing directly at the camera while like diamonds are spinning in the background. But it. It's like that's that's not bad, but then it cuts to this terrible, just disgusting looking old Wookiee just vibrating in his chair, <laughs> gumming his mouth around. This is great. Oh, it's to it's, be, it's a I trip. Mean, like, George man. Lucas was what like twenty three, and he was like, "Well, I I'm just happy I'm not dead." To be fair, it sounds like he uh, like Star Wars accurately predicted the future of technology. <laughs> old men yep. getting boners and in, in their living rooms. <laughs> I, yeah, that's essentially me. <laughs> I, I've yet. Too, and I don't think I ever will jerk off while having a VR headset. Uh, I feel like that's weird because somebody could walk in and you wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. Who's in your home? Yeah. <laughs> you never Just know. Before you start, make yourself okay with the fact that somebody might see you, and then it doesn't matter. Maybe that's what you're jerking off to. Yeah. The yeah. fact that somebody could walk in at any hey, time. Hey, stream. So I'm playing a new game today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I've been banned? <laughs> why, do you, why do you think our framing is like right here? Oh, we can true. see anything. Oh, yeah. that's good People idea. think I'm bouncing you, my you leg. You can totally see my crotch right now. Well, <laughs> lest, <a> money shot. <laughs> lest you get caught unawares while wearing a VR helmet, there you go. should always keep a track of what time it is, so whenever your friends come back from their party, you know that you're not rubbing one out in the living room <laughs> to some Star Star Wars VR porn. <laughs> hey, this podcast is sponsored by Movement. Uh, you should wear watches all the time, because then you'll know what time it is. And also, look fashionable. Let me tell you, uh, there's no better way to prove that you are a, a man of high fashion and old sensibilities than wearing a classically styled movement watch. Apple Watch, no thank you. I don't need to see text on my watch. I just need a cool looking arm piece that tells me what time it is. Is an arm piece a gun? Well, let me tell you, a good watch is as powerful as a gun when it comes to navigating through the sartorial landscape of 2017. Uh, movement is much like all the gentlemen that are, are getting um, just pounded by YouTube right now. Huh. Movement decided that the original watch scene wasn't for them, so they stepped outside of it. They, uh, they set up their own supply chains, set up a website, and sold directly to the consumer, which is how they can make and sell such fine watches at such low, low prices. Uh, so if you appreciate that rebel spirit, I think Movement would like you to know that they're of a similar mind. Uh, and you can get 15% off your Movement watch today with free shipping and free returns by going to movement.com slash dude soup. Uh, that's M-V-M-T dot com slash dude soup, all one word. For fifteen percent off, thank you, Movement. You guys should check them out. They actually, I really like, I really like the fashion here. Check hmm. that out. Hey, just some some nice simple watch face. You yeah. don't need all them dials. You don't need all them widgets. No, all sir. All them dials. I just want to know go. the time. That's all. Seriously, thank you, Movement. Yeah, it it helps us <laughs> to not not be whacking it when your mom comes home. It helps us not whack it. <laughs> well, also mom helps us, helps us with ads too. Yes, don't thank you. Yeah. Yeah. There's that too. So, hmm. Yeah, I would never I would never ask you guys to do anything you don't want to do and if the product doesn't interest you don't go out of your way But if there is a little tick in the back of your head that that is quickly becoming the lifeblood of this channel mm -hmm. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to check it out Well but. also like so if you are into a service like if you are buying a gift like a movement watch or blue or anything, It does help with the promo code stuff like that's no oh, yeah. joke. That's how they that's, track. It. That's how they track it yeah. So like if that works then they go hey those guys are really working out. We're gonna keep supporting them yeah, That's true. So that is actually one way going back to the whole YouTube thing uh, before we get totally down on our hands and knees and start begging for money and sucking your virtual oh, cocks. Knees. Yeah, our hands are going to be VR. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Soon. We'll get there. I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll figure time. we'll figure something out. I'm I'm going back to that whole thing, though. I'm just saying, like, Lawrence, you touched on it a little bit. Um, I'm glad we have a, a parachute. Mm -hmm. It makes me happy. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Yeah, it, like, it we, worries we'd me. We'd all be real freaking out right now. I'd be... I'd probably be contemplating... Not suicide, but Jeez. God, some sort of exit plan. I mean, this, I mean, this basement. whole thing works for any business, though. Like yeah, right. people, the problem with YouTube is it pitches it as such a casual. Right. Just upload a video, play things you do, things you like, and upload a video. It's your hobby. Who not, cares? It's not quite. But the like problem that. is, as soon as it becomes your primary source of revenue, you should treat it like a business and think about how businesses work and how to diversify upon that revenue and make sure that you're protected because, you know, unless you are. A big oil company, there's no real way to, like, completely control the industry in which you work, you know? <laughs> no. I, I don't know. I, I see... I got, one way I can see the industry going and shifting is 
Let's see, like, there's Netflix, Amazon, who else is doing? Hulu. So I, Hulu. AT&T's doing short WWE. films. WWE. WWE, yeah. Verve. It's, it's becoming less of a, it's all a catch-all, Bruce. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it's becoming more of like, well, you can serve you can serve the widest possible group you can, uh, but that's get, we've always said it before. But it's like that's your billboard. It's a billboard, yeah. And it needs to push you. So like your most diehard fans who cannot live without your content, you have to go. If you really want to support us, you go over here. Mm -hmm. And that's I mean that's what Rooster Teeth is right now. It's being improved upon. But well, one thing we you know, one thing we haven't mentioned that I forgot about this when we were discussing it earlier is Twitch. Mm. Um, is that a lot of a lot of people Direct on YouTube support. are yeah are noticing super chats too that well yeah super chats on YouTube are a, a, a much bigger deal I think than than we've talked about because it's direct revenue yeah. for the creator and I, right now YouTube doesn't even take any take a cut my, of super chat. my issue though with Twitch though so say you take a personality like Pew PewDiePie hmm? his content is not even our content our content is it's not edited yeah yeah it's very, it's heavily edited and it, you cut out the boring bits and yeah. it's good Twitch is much way different type of content and I would hate to subjugate ourselves to that sort of content Well, I, th I think because YouTube, that's not us well I think YouTube might stand to lose a lot of people to twitch and not because they would go on stream but because twitch might start supporting VODs and all that other stuff they may have they a, do and even well no right they do you can I mean, upload and put thumbnails on things and they run ads on it they, they may have it's not what the audience generally looks for absolutely there. Not, yeah. not, not yet not but yet. I mean like it could change yeah um, and that's something that twitch is currently I bet I'm sure they're taking notes uh, as YouTube is kind of falling on its face when it comes to ads, I'm sure Twitch is like, well, we got to build that in right now mm -hmm. um, if we're going to ever support VOD because I'm betting that uh, the people that run Twitch are thinking right now, this is the <laughs> geez, um, this is the perfect time to start pulling audience from YouTube is when when people are scared about their livelihood yeah. on YouTube. The thing that the thing that I think also goes unmentioned a lot, YouTube Red was supposed to fix this problem. Um, in that people pay direct money to YouTube and then based off of their watch time oh, yeah. that revenue gets paid out to the various creators Right. I For some reason, I mean, I, I guess maybe I, I guess I can't tell people that ten dollars is an, a trivial amount of money per month mm. But for as much time as I spend on YouTube it is a no-brainer especially well, combined with Google Play music. music Yeah, with music. So it's strange to me that YouTube Red didn't apparently didn't take off more than it did And I'm only drawing that inference based on the revenue we get mm -hmm. and it's it's becoming a more measurable Portion of the income just because advertising is shrinking, mm -hmm. but that theoretically is how this kind of content would get supported in the vacuum of advertiser friendly stuff Yeah, people yeah, are supposed it's, to pay directly for it. it's still it's still perceived as some YouTube is like free right. to a lot of people right. yep. yeah. So when you ask people to pay for something that's free, it's hard. The answer is just no regard switch. to that, you know? And I guess if you have ad block, there's really no incentive. But still, Google Play Music's pretty good. And if you're already paying for Spotify, oh, Google I, Play well, Music's I mean, great. also, I this mean, isn't again, an ad, but it just doesn't make sense to me. Why wouldn't we, you? We were talking to Gavin about that. I don't know if you were in the car with us, Lawrence. I don't uh, think I was. It was no. in Tampa. I, I don't say. get to ride in those cars. Uh, it was when we went to Bush Gardens. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. I was sleeping and I was hungover. <laughs> Weird, right? Um, uh, but we were talking to him, and it were, he was like, "He's like, how is Google Music?" And we're like, "Well, like, it comes with YouTube Red." He's like, "Really? I pay for YouTube Red." And he's well, like, "He has it." And yeah. I'm like, well, "You pay for Spotify?" He's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Use Google Music." I mean, I know he's on an Apple phone or whatever, it's but just, like, it's weird to me that YouTube did a push around it, but it seems most of their push was around the branded content that they mm -hmm. made for YouTube Red. Yeah. And I think Lazar team, which is not enough. No, they, to not justify. I don't know why they didn't just pitch it as no ads ever. YouTube music. downloads, which is a huge deal, and music. Those yeah. three features, regardless of how good Scare PewDiePie is or was, or Into the Night, or Gigi Gorgeous, whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know what any, what any of that stuff is, and I don't really care. It's all but the fact that YouTube I can click wants on... To be. Yeah. That's, that's what they want. That's what they want people to go to YouTube and go, when I think of YouTube, I think of original content, not uh, last night's episode of Rick and Morty hmm. that I downloaded because yeah. I couldn't watch it in my country or whatever. Yeah. Um, it, it's hard to... Uh, Train, retrain the brain, basically, mm -hmm. uh, and recondition it to say, no, no, no. This is what YouTube is. When it's a lot of people have been growing up with it being, this is where free content lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get that it's it's probably not in their interest to, to push people away from watching ads, but it, I don't. I guess I don't understand when, when an ad runs on YouTube. Why isn't there tiny text under that says, "Tired of ads? Click here to buy YouTube Red." It's a good, that's a really good question. probably because there's an ad blocker. Installed. I don't know. Yeah. Well, then they wouldn't see in the first place. Fine. Whatever. You're. I mean, you're. You wouldn't pay money for something you, you, that is inconvenient for you or not an inconvenience for you in the first place. Yeah. I mean, anyway. people, the thing is, people still watch cable. Yeah. Because 
it's just tied up it's into whatever your payment is or so it's perceived to be free but you're watching man watching so many ads so many ads yeah so many ads no, long know. ads ads all the time not related to your interest ads all the time yeah, and I then you get a small glimmer of content and then you go back to the ads again yeah Jeez. Well, it's like, that's like Hulu blows my mind because you pay for Hulu and then you still have to watch ads. Yeah. Well, they have an ad free tier now. Yeah, I don't. It's watch only ads like on three or four more dollars than Hulu itself. It's basically but, the same as Netflix now but, for but ad free. The amount Hulu. of times I've heard people say, "I'll just watch it on Netflix. It's free." It's like, <laughs> well, but uh, Netflix is what eight bucks a month. For ten, ten bucks a month, it's eight bucks for I think the basic streaming only and like one device downloads or something. Yeah, um, that's, that's what I have. I yeah. accidentally okay. got tricked into paying for the uh, the ten dollars a month because they were doing the download option. Oh yeah, and I had just bought a new tablet before we went to Australia, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm trying to download Narcos, and they're like, oh, you, it's, you have too many yeah, devices. Yeah, oh. you have too many devices. We're we're just gonna give you. Oh. Um, we're gonna give you the uh, the free one, or we're gonna like we're gonna upgrade, upgrade. your account for free. Yeah. Uh, so you can use multiple devices, but then they, I never changed it back. Oh, yeah. so they renewed it at ten. It ended mm -hmm. up working out fine because uh, you get the uh, the four K TV option with it now. Well, I, the thing too uh, is, I mean, that's the thing. We now now we live in an age of devices where you're like, well, I, I don't use it on my phone, but I want it on my phone. Yeah, so you case. do it, and then you fill up on all your possible devices that you can have Netflix on. And there's the one time you need it, and you're like, ah, oh, shit. You pay well, pay. I guess I should pay for it Monthly. every single month to make sure I have it that one time I need it. I think we're bringing up a good point here, though, well, inadvertently, is the fact that, like, Lawrence is like, well, why doesn't people buy YouTube Red? It's because they're paying $10 to Netflix and $10 to Hulu mm -hmm. and $50 for cable and mm -hmm. blah, 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 oh, and their God. cell phone's $70. <laughs> do it. Yeah, How do I do it? And their cell phone's $70. So it's like, so it may be yet another thing they have to add. That's fair. Yeah. That's absolutely yeah. fair. Yep, you know, definitely. Like, I don't know. I, yeah, I was, I was Money ain't at, free. It's not. Well, I was looking you have at to like work for it. the the amount of online services I pay for monthly. I was just thinking about it. So it's, it's like, a ton. Well, it's it's Netflix, HBO, uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, what's the other one? Hulu. Well, and Prime, like, is, Prime, Prime should be. I, I mean, that's everything. It all, it all equates to about what I'd be paying paying for cable. And I also go have these on it with Jess. So it's like mm, it's not yeah. as big of a deal. But I'm like. Motherfucker, I'm paying for so many different little. But well, I prefer choose. it this way though. But but they're all things that I use. Yeah, it, it yeah. is all kind of a la carte. Yeah. So like, I I and I honestly feel like a lot of those services are worth what I'm paying for them. So I'm never like I'm butthurt. Like I, I honestly think HBO is a good deal. It's a lot of good content on there. I wish it was downloadable. But it's yeah. just like the point that Lawrence always makes with video games is like, but if you're 17. You may have enough money for one of those things, yeah. right? Yeah. You may be like, well, I can pay $10 a month to YouTube Red or to Netflix. Mm -hmm. Netflix has got everything, and YouTube Red has got, oh, well, it's downloaded on music. You know, Fair like, enough. Well, yeah, Netflix has that premium content that YouTube wishes it had. Right. It's right. The, it absolutely does. The House of Cards and yeah. the Defenders but and all the other I just read an article about how Netflix is like the, $8 billion in debt. The, yeah, the Netflix <laughs> Originals net is getting cast pretty wide these days. It's, yeah. not, it's, not, a, it's not a banner of quality. No, no, no. Well, it's because yeah, they like, started licensing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like not just original House, productions. Yeah. It's also Netflix presents, uh, whatever. Sure. Man, those entrance animations are pretty yeah, cool. I like that. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's see here. Let's see. What we got time for. Uh, I guess we got to go right into hard nutting. Let's oh, do yeah. it. I had a I had a bit of a mind freak for you, but it can wait. You can save it for a thoughtable That's for right. next week. Yeah. There I'm unsure if I want to play this game in my free time or not. Yeah. Maybe. It's fun. fun. Brave enough. statement. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, That's why I'm like I'm on the fence where I'm like. It feels fun. I mean, it feels like the same way I felt when I played Crackdown or yeah. other Saints Row games. Yeah. It is, it is where I was like, I may not make a full effort to beat this game, but yeah. it's kind of a nice it wilds away I the time. distraction. Yeah. I like the art style more yeah. than I've liked previous Saints Row. I could see uh, a primary motivation just meeting all the characters because they all seem pretty expressive and goofy, mm -hmm. just in that in that classic volition way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can you pause it, Adam? Actually? Oh yeah, go. Let me, uh, this is going to take a little bit of a uh, little bit of explanation. Ooh. So, yeah. Oh, jeez. I like where this is going. I'm I like the whole bio for this. Yeah, there is actually. It's <laughs> it's a little. Uh, it takes a bit of explanation. So uh, last week we had Lizard Force. Um, let me let me go. Lizard Force is awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't see Lizard you Force. Love Lizard I Force. just got an email saying my Crunchyroll Premium membership has expired. Oh, no. <laughs> also, I haven't like used it in forever. So this is Lizard Force. <laughs> Uh, it's a bunch of tactical mm -hmm. dinos that are ready I for like action. I like that a lot. People, That's a good hard netting. People make these. Oops. And okay. then they also have like stop action movies and I stuff like that. that. Yeah, I like they have that. animations and things. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a bunch of just fucking rad mm -hmm. counter terrorist contra so bros. Cool. I like that a lot. Stomp in the jungle. Like a hard right agenda for some reason. Well, it seems like <laughs> yeah. it, like a early '90s cartoon that never was. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly that's a, what a it great is. summary. Yeah. Dino fart. So it is today. It's against. It's up against two four one five four three nine zero three. 
<laughs> which is a special number. Uh, my apologies if you guys, if we have any meme historians in the audience, you may be rolling your eyes I at this. Apologize to them. This dated <laughs> reference, but uh, so uh, uh, the backstory of this number is that on April 6, two thousand nine, and this is from knowyourmeme.com. Again, sorry if this is all. <laughs> I shouldn't apologize anymore. Uh, David Horowitz, a New York-based artist known for his often eccentric DIY instructional projects, posted a picture with his head in the freezer, titled two four one five. Five four three nine zero three. Be his Flickr account, San Pedro Glue Sticks. Um, here's that picture. I there love it is. Uh, days later, on April tenth, the same numeric sequence two four one five four three nine zero three appeared in a Tumblr post, which provided the following instruction for readers. And this is in all caps. Take a photograph of your head inside a freezer. <laughs> Upload this photo to the internet like Flickr. Tag the file with 241-543903. The idea is that if you all search for this cryptic tag, all photos of heads and freezers will appear. I just did one. That's nice. awesome. I like that. And That's then awesome. they did. I also so, like that he couldn't save the notepad. So then is now, if you search the internet for this in, this number, it's it's gotten a little. Oh, you only get a couple. Yeah, it's gotten a little. An actual head in a freezer. It's gotten a little <laughs> frightening. Is, that's that's just a bad Photoshop. It has to be right. Well, anyway, I, I'm, I had on my glasses. Age on, gated. So it, just, it looks real for me. This is oh. great. Yeah. So there's just mm -hmm. you know just a lot of folks shoving their heads in freezers. Yeah. All right. Um. It's 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 made the rounds in meme land. So there's there's a lot of spins on it. A lot of uh, Russian thumbnails. Ooh, purely Age gated. Mm -hmm. Hot. This gentleman here. <laughs> this girl. More uh -huh. butts. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the sideways freezer. Yeah, oh, thank I God. It. I thought a leg was thrown over. No, no, that's the sideways freezer. Shit, is that a vagina? There's the original. There's somebody with... Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> anyway, that looks like I summoned something. <laughs> I know. People really taking it and making it their own. Mm -hmm. Oh, anonymous. anonymous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of heads and freezers. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. there you go, oh, gentlemen. Okay. That is... That is... <laughs> That is that I is love this couples shit. therapy. Yeah, I love this shit. The so hardest much. net. All right. I love it. Potentially. I'm mm. scared to keep scrolling. This might get weird. Yeah. It might. Mm. Mm. Got some hot pockets there. <laughs> I know. Eating a popsicle. That's good. <laughs> I always like to see what people prioritize yeah. in their freezer. Yeah, freezers. Yeah. <laughs> so not only did we uh, get to see heads in freezers, but we got to also see what's in everybody's freezers. Hmm. Uh, so, what do you guys think? Lizard Force? Or people shoving their heads in freezers mm. and tagging it with a cryptic one. number. It's a really tough one. Whoa. Oh, planking, planking plus pl <laughs> freezering. Man, it's amazing. Uh, no, nah, nah, his feet are up on the counter. It's stupid. Oh, that's really good. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Some happy people. There you go. That's tough. <laughs> Can't tell if he's crawling in or out. See, the, so here's the conundrum for me. Lizard Force is pretty great. But I'm new to it, so I didn't have the week for it to what? kind of like to settle, settle in. in yeah. So it's more exciting for me oh, that's okay. seeing it just now. That's all right. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna go lizard. Ooh, we went lizard for us. But okay. I do think this is a great this is a great showdown. It is. These are two great things, and I do not want to diminish <laughs> the efforts here made by these people putting their heads in freezers. Man. The whole world's coming together. Well, my vote goes for lizard force. Lizard okay. Force. Okay, Adam, what about you? Uh, I'm gonna go with lizard force. Really? Yeah. I all right, well, I feel like this it. meme did not take off as well as he wanted it to. Uh, but maybe that's what makes it more hard netting. That, yeah, see, that's, maybe. that's actually for me. Meme. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for me. That was that was the reason I was going to vote for 241-543-903. Okay. Lizard... Is because it's it's it is such hard netting that it hasn't really even caught on, and it's been there've been people doing it for um, what how long? Yeah. Six years, seven years. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Well, oh, that's I, good. Lizard, Lizard Force yeah. feels like a passion project. This feels forced. This okay. Feels, this feels corporate. All right. <laughs> corporate. <laughs> yeah. It's just some dude in his apartment. Whirlpool. Well, I just hate when oh, people. Yeah. I hate fridge manufacturers. I hate when people go. This is a meme now. You oh, know? Yeah. Eh, go fuck yourself. Oh. I don't know. Like, let's let memes yeah. are. Are a, a part of nature, right? Okay. It, it's sort of a thing where the the public hive mind goes, "This is a thing now." Yeah. When a guy mm. goes upon Mount Tryhard and yeah. goes, "I decree, this number is now a meme. Go world, but go." It's, but it worked. It's like so. But I think out of saying the value of a meme is like laying a bike against a tree, and then you come back ten years later, and the tree has grown around the bike. <laughs> Right. But it, okay. as opposed to saying putting a bike against a tree and hoping that, somebody that the tree yeah. will grow around right. the bike, right? It's an accident. Oh. Or or pouring a bunch of seeds on the tree and and sort of manufacturing it. Yeah, interesting. It feels fake. Interesting. I get that. I, I get know. that. Well, I'm still voting for this, but regardless, okay. It, okay, I think Lizard yeah. Force wins. Lizard Force takes it. Yeah. Right. Ooh, what's oh, down there? What's going on? Strumming there? a little ditty. He's got a little guitar Someone in there. Getting laid. <laughs> <I know. laughs> 
Oh goodness. There's a lot more of these than you'd think. Yeah, it keeps going. Ooh, hell, well, I like the introduction um, of sex to uh Do you? To cramming the uh that's Oh wait, what, that's, that's just uh -oh. That's just a picture of a girl. I thought her head was in a freezer. Never no. mind. It's just a girl in a bikini. Alright. Hmm. Well, well, there you go. How Lizard much Force. electricity was wasted? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this. Lizard Force wins again. Lizard I Force don't know. Takes it. Those are some rude, crude lizard dudes. I don't, I don't know that anything can really take them down. They're so good. I'll have to try my best, though. <laughs> They're so good. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this week's Dude Soup. Uh, oh, one uh, second to final thing. Actually, two, three things have now occurred oh to me. Oh my god! Now that I almost this podcast we're is never sending in for another oh, forty-five wow. minutes. It's two fifteen, Lawrence. I, well, we started a little late uh, due to some OBS hiccups, but that's okay. Uh, we got some new merch show you guys. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. This is hitting tomorrow. If you're watching this live, it's not available yet, but if you're listening to it any other way, it probably already is. We got a cool shirt. A, uh, which way do I need show to move Show the whole this? thing, Good. Lawrence. There we go. Show the whole thing. I'm trying. Can we hide the video game, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. There we it's go. Good. Fun it. Lynn. Fucking shit. It's the Disneyland logo, but it says Funhouse on it. Shh, Thank you. Shut up. I mean, I mean, it's a Funhouse logo. logo. It's the logo we fun made. Logo. Well, it was great uh, when we had jobs. So, <laughs> so uh, it's the, uh, the funnest place on the internet shirt. That's coming this is out the tomorrow. only. I think this is the only Funhouse shirt we have in this sky blue color. Honestly, I think so. Mm, I think you're right. So if, you, match your, if you just always yeah. wanted a sky blue Funhouse blue, shirt, yeah, that's they'll, uh, they'll that's match it. your mutated eyes. That's why they're blue. We got some, calling your eyes mutated. Got that's a mutation. I mean, <laughs> that's what it is. Muty. Got, uh, true. <laughs> got a whole raft of pins here for you guys. Oh, we got little pins. A little like James's head. Pin, a James's yeah. pin. James's head. Look at that. The people who made pins also did a Google search of metal pins. Yeah, grabbing that first result and cropping it out. Looking good. <laughs> Buy our and stuff, then, support us. Uh, finally, we also have the uh, the Overwatch poster. You may have seen this make the rounds uh, oh, during RTX. You got it? Oh, yeah. That's I have it on my desk, desk, I think. Yeah, if you I want to grab it, it. There are a few changes, but... Sonic. I, that's yeah, the only way it'll deep. stay up. <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> collaboration <laughs> between such luminaries as Zip Kippy and Kel. Hey. They drew us all as Overwatch peoples. Make sure to get in the other one, too, yeah. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. There's a little bit of dodging to do. Right. I don't have a and button. To people have asked. Yes, Don is Sombra. Oh, is Don Sombra? Is, and he's disappeared because he, but he's cloaked. He cloaked. Okay, got it. Right. Uh, the next, the next announcement. Uh, we have a first only show called Esports Ejects, where we attempt to get good at Overwatch. Uh, so we're playing. It's us basically playing through the the current season in comp, um, trying to learn how to get better. Uh, learn how to communicate better, learn how to work with each other better. It's interesting. It's a grand sociological experiment. We got a trailer for that going up on YouTube today. It's, uh, it's up right now. Uh, oh, it's, yeah, up right now. it's up right now. Well, then it's up. Regardless if you're watching live or not, yeah. uh, you should go check that out. Um, but it is first only. The trailer's there to give you a little sample. Nice. But if you want to watch us play games in a long form setting and try to be serious at it, that is how to do it. We have fun. We do have fun. We do have fun. We have fun, and we're trying to learn, as uh, Nathaniel Bone said, uh, our resident uh, programmer mm -hmm. of uh, Funhouse. What's his name? Bones. Adam. Adam. He, it's, he has the same name. Adam, as I'm, you I'm Adam. <clears throat> okay. Oh boy, he says oh he watches it to learn, though. Oh. Well, yeah, either, either way, uh, stick. He's stick learning all from way, us. Stick, I know yeah, that's, no, that's a bad idea. Bad. Stick all the way to the end of that series because uh, yeah. it gets pretty rough for a few yeah. episodes. And it's then like then Game of Thrones. We start the last episode. It's fucking awesome. So. No, that sweet pen. And then finally, just a just a quick request from me. Uh, last week, due to a fuck up on my part, there was some game audio. Some people said it was really annoying. Some people said that they actually kind of liked the charm of it. Uh, I'm, there's not going to be any game audio this week because I, I think that that's <laughs> probably dangerous, a dangerous road to go down. But I would like to know your particular uh, preference. Oh. Uh, we've experimented with format of here and there and stuff. So yeah, just you know, hit me up on Twitter, drop a you know, uh, make a Reddit thread, put it in the comments on this, whatever. Uh, just let me know what you think. I, I'm curious to know what, what people like, what they don't like, what they like to see change. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm open for experimentation, so so hit me up. It's like when two dudes kiss. Real quick, <laughs> what is Toby eye tracking? Uh, does yeah. it have, like, VR support, or...? Maybe it's got the eye, like, the eye tracking thing you put on. You can aim with your eyeballs? Uh, it's either that, or it's that one thing that, uh... We've seen the... the it's Overwatch been enabled video. this whole time! It's the head tracker, I think. Okay. I think you have to wear it. Aim at like gaze. VR porn. Cool. All right, that's G A Z E Sorry. for anyone else. Sorry. I'm curious. Oh, all right. That'll uh, that'll do it for today's podcast. Uh, we got the post show coming right up. Post if you're watching live. Yep. Okay. Uh, if you're listening to this on audio or watching it on, on YouTube, the post show basically we we look at some fan art of the week. We address some comments. We take live questions. So it's a pretty cool time. We get to we get to turn around our chair and rap with the kids. So if you'd like to <laughs> if you'd like to be rapped at and rap with, consider getting a first membership and watch Dude Soup live. 
And then you can also check out Post Show, which goes up on the Rooster Teeth website. But for now, we will bid you adieu. Uh, thank you for watching this week or listening or however you did it. Uh, you, <laughs> yeah, YouTube's real rough, right? Re- real rough these days. But hopefully, we can just give you a, maybe a more honest and complete download about what how what's going on from our perspective. So maybe it's not so doom and gloom. I don't know. I'm opening the Toby Eye Tracker behind you so people can see it. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, there it is. That's a great out. See. <laughs> All right, well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is a large man. I think it's some water. Okay. Uh, I, for the life of me, couldn't find any bananas in this building. I talk about this a lot. Um, I don't know if I talk about it on the podcast, but I always talk about nostalgia and how it affects what you watched and how you felt when you uh, saw those things. So, like, like uh, I'll stand by it to the bitter end. Willow's a bad film. Willow? Um, yeah, Willow's <laughs> a bad movie. And... Uh, like it's just generally a bad movie. Not a, not 